thing. And the next morning the law enforcement came and they see there is my structure standing with my bed, my everything in. And she said for me, Mercer, put the, uh, your cupboard in, Mercer, put this in there, put that in. And she helped me with, and since that time, the Kasava helped me. I was staying here since now. And how many people are living in this shack with you? Is, is, uh, I and my three um, kids. One is um, six years old, and my daughter is ten years old, and my other daughter, my old, young, older daughter is uh, 18 years old, and she has a baby from two months. Now the city of Cape Town is saying they want to build a cemetery on this piece of land, which means that you will have to move. Do you have any other place to go? I, I haven't got the other place to go, but where, my, where must we go? Because why? If they build a cemetery here, and there's a lot of people with the, the don't have families, they are stay, staying here for they must pay a rent, they must pay water and light. And what is open? Open is now. You, you pay their people and you don't have food for your kids. And what will happen to your kids and you? Are you concerned about your kids? Do you know where you can stay? I'm very concerned about my kids because well, where must I go, go to stay? Where? I haven't got a place to stay. And, and, and family is, is not um, always a, not right because well, we are staying there Muslim, for two months and after two months they will put you out. And they, uh, the faces, that they face us, whatever it is, and, and then... Where must where are we we go for, for, for a place? And I'm staying here since three years. Uh, going in for four years now. The twelfth of June June is is four years. Now I've been inside your shack and it seems that you do everything in a small space. You cook your food there, you've got three children living with you and a grandchild. It's a very small shack. Uh, you said there's no real privacy in there for you. Uh, yes, there's nothing. Because why? We sleep there. We make food here. We sit, we pee here. And every time the place stinks, well, um, many times the place stinks like pus. <laughs> huh? You must cook there and, and everything. Okay. It's not the right. Mm -hmm. My, I just also want to understand, so are you unemployed? Yes, I, I'm employed. Mm -hmm. I work now and then. If uh, pick and pay wants me, then, then I go. And then I haven't got a place to stay and, and money to pay for, 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 for a backyard. Understand? Where must I go? Mm -hmm. The government must give me a place. Yo. I want a place. I'm 10 years on the waiting list. Um, there's people. It's 20 years old. They have a house. And what about us? They forgot about us. They didn't see us here. Let's, yeah, let's look at, so this is your structure. This yes. is your shack over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Moshe, thank you so much for your time, and we do apologize to our viewers for the language. Um, but, Moshe, I understand that you are feeling angry, so thank you for your time. Thank you. And come back with the back feet with, by me. Thank you. Well, that was Mersha Paul, so she's one of the persons staying here on a piece of land which the city of Cape Town wants to use for a cemetery. The city is saying that they are illegally occupying the land, but the residents here say they have nowhere else to go. Yes, it uncertain days ahead for the community.